A clear picture of what's in store for this dilapidated Dutch town staple, the former Cleveland High School. For the first time, the developer is taking his vision to the community as he grapples with closing several grocery stores and faces legal issues. First Alert 4's Melanie Johnson has more on what's ahead. Yes, Sam McCorry, another step forward to renovate the historic Cleveland High School that has sat vacant since 2006. The man with the plan to revive the facility is pivoting with failure with foot field foods and the legal trouble coming with it. A lot of memories there, a lot of memories. Patricia Lewis is proud to be a Cleveland High School graduate, but what she's not happy about is what her alma mater has become. Right now it's just a big old clanky building that nobody knows is going to, everyone thinks it's going to fall down. As the head of the school's alumni association, she tells First Alert 4, thousands of former students have waited since the school closed 17 years ago for this town hall meeting held at St. Anthony of Padua Wednesday. I just want to be up front with everybody. I'm here to listen. People are just so thrilled about knowing that something's going to happen with this building. For the first time, they heard from Chris Goodson, the owner of Phil's Food, and his plans to fix it up just days after closing three of the area's grocery stores, including a Dogtown location earlier this week. I'm an underdog. I love to fight for the underdog. I started a grocery store because nobody else would do it. Now Goodson has the development rights to renovate the long defunct Cleveland High School, but the final plan for what's next is still up in the air. As far as what will happen on the outside, that's really going to be, you know, to be determined because it, it, the whole program for the entire thing isn't understood at this point. I think outdoor recreation of some kind would certainly be part of what would be considered. Cleveland doesn't have that much to feel, but it still has that hole, and we can make that the transformative area to spark growth for everything else. While there's no hard details, the developer discussed mixed-use development to a green space, something Patricia Lewis says thousands of Cleveland High School alumni would love to see. If something big would happen like this, I think everybody would just, number one, be gravitating towards it. And that's an important thing. The owner of Fields Foods, Chris Goodson, has a number of legal battles, including owing back rent for Field Foods property and owing $20,000 in back taxes, something Goodson says will be all cleared up before he starts redeveloping Cleveland High School. Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. Melanie, thank you. Right now, there